This is the Honors Calculus final exam review for 2013. Uh, num we're looking at numbers 3, 4, and 5. And this tells us to find the angle of smallest possible positive measure coterminal with the given angle. And then they give us angles with high degree numbers like 840 degrees or 1301 degrees, or they give us negative angles like negative 19 degrees. So let's look at number 3. And we have 840 degrees. So uh, we want to think of this, what, what this means is that if we look at the unit circle and an angle in standard position, which might be here, then what this angle has done is it's gone around 360 degrees, and then it's gone around another 360 degrees, and then it has stopped somewhere I don't know where but we've at least gone around a couple of 360 degrees. So if we want to know where it stopped, all we have to do is subtract off the 360 degrees that we went around. So we just take our 840 degrees and we go minus 360 degrees. And we might work that by hand, but maybe we'll be lazy and get our calculator and do 840 minus 360. And we get 480. So that's 480. Now, 480 degrees is still more than 360, and we need to keep subtracting until it gets to be less than 360. So now we'll subtract 360 again. Maybe we'll do that without a calculator this time. We get 120 degrees. Now, we have a positive angle that is coterminal with 840, and it's the smallest possible positive one, because if I were to subtract 360 again, I would get a negative number. So that means the number I found is the smallest possible positive measure that's coterminal with that given angle. So that means that where this angle really is, is 120 degrees. 120 degrees is over here, 120 degrees. And so if we keep this going around, we know what really happened is we went around once, we went around twice, and we stopped at the 120 degrees, 360, 720, 840. Uh, but this is all we need for our answer. It's 120 degrees, and that's number three. Number four, you do the same way. Now, let's look at uh, number five. They only give you one negative angle, it's negative 19 degrees. So I'd, I'll let you do that one. I'll show you an example similar to number five. Let's call it 5A. Uh, so what we do for a negative angle, let's say we had negative 112 degrees, and we still want to follow the same directions which are that we want the smallest possible positive measure coterminal. So basically we get coterminal angles by adding or subtracting 360 degrees. That's because if I am at a certain angle and I add 360 degrees, I end up in the same place. That's what coterminal means. So what I'll do here is, since the angle is negative, I'm going to add 360 degrees. And then so I have negative 112 degrees plus 360 degrees. So I'll go negative 112. Oops, that's not 112. Negative 112 plus 360 is 248. So that means that my positive angle is 248 degrees. If I added 360 and it was still negative, then I would just add 360 again. So this again is what it means that an angle is coterminal. This is the answer to the question, we're done. But what it means that the angle is coterminal is that this 248 degree angle, now let's see, this is 270 degrees right here, this is 180 degrees, so 248 degrees, maybe it's in here somewhere, who knows, 248 degrees. So if I, if I measure that 248 degrees, that means if I go this way, it's 248 degrees. The negative 112 degrees means if I go this way, 112 degrees, then that's negative 112 degrees because I'm going the wrong way by going clockwise instead of counterclockwise. But either way, I end up in the same place. So 248 degrees and negative 112 degrees, they are coterminal angles. So our process for finding coterminal angles is simply if I have a large positive number, I keep subtracting 360 until I get the smallest possible positive number. And if I have a negative number, I keep adding 360 until I get a positive number. So that's how we do number 3, 4, and 5.